Hi, this is Matt from tracymat.co.uk, and here I'm looking at one of the latest devices from HTC, and inside this plain white box is a pre-release version of the HTC P3470. So if we just take a look inside, um, here we have the device itself, which I'll look at in just a moment. I should just mention though that this is not obviously the retail box, this is a plain white pre-release box, so contents are subject to change on the actual retail version. However, inside we have standard mini USB to USB sync charge cable. There are some headphones, which are pretty standard HTC headphones with the uh, enhanced mini USB connector and headphones on the other end, obviously, and an inline microphone with push button. And finally, a charger. Uh, this charger has actually a USB connector on the top, so you use the sync charge cable with the mains charger itself. And that, as I say, may be subject to change on the retail version. So looking at the 3470 itself, it's quite an attractive looking device in my opinion. It's very shiny around the edges, nice flush black design. Uh, the screen on the front is a 2.8 inch 24320 display, so called a VGA. Below that we have soft keys, standard and phone keys, Windows Start and OK key, and right in the centre is our D-pad style navigator, which actually does spin as well as rock up, down, left and right, and there's a push button in the centre for your action. On the left hand side is an up and down volume control jogger. On the bottom we have mini USB connector for charging headphones and so on. Stylus slides in at the bottom. It is a very small stylus, it's not telescopic. And on the side I have the camera control and finally along the top the power button. On the rear we have a 2 megapixel camera and it's a return to sort of the older days of cameras on the HTC devices with there is a switch on the back to switch between macro and normal photography. There is a mirror below for taking pictures of yourself. Back slides off by popping the, pushing the back upwards, releases. As you can see the battery is already installed here. It's an 1100 mAh battery. SIM card goes in here and micro SD just next to it. Um, quite irritating that you have to remove the battery in order to change the memory card. Um, I do prefer it when you can change the memory card without having to power down the device, but there we go. Okay, so I'll just power the device up. And while that's powering on, let me just talk about the specification. This is a very lightweight device, only 122 grams. It has a 201 MHz processor, which isn't particularly fast, but there is 256 meg of ROM, 128 meg of RAM, so that should hopefully push things along a little. As I mentioned, it is a 2.8 inch diagonal display, 24320. This is designed as an entry level device with built in GPS, and HTC are pushing it as an entry level product. And as such, there's no 3G and no Wi Fi. However, there is Bluetooth 2 with, with EDR support, and, I, and as I mentioned, there is built in GPS. And I'm told that the device will, in fact, as you can see here, ship with TomTom pre-installed. However, the price point on this device is £300, and personally I feel that £300 is possibly a little too much for such an entry-level device. As I say, no 3G and no Wi-Fi. But I suspect that the price may come down um, with time. So looking in the Start menu, let's just have a look in Programs. As you can see, rotating the outside of the wheel, moves through the menu into programs you see that installation is pretty standard with TomTom -tom there included and in the settings again pretty standard stuff I think terribly out of the ordinary touch flow is, is mentioned there not touch flow in the same way as the HTC touch, touch dual and so on um, there's no spinning cube, 
but holding down your finger on the screen and scrolling up and down um, should provide scroll. So, so let's just compare that to the Titan 2. And you can see very similar in size, screen almost identical, virtually the same width but slightly thinner. The P3470 is significantly lighter than the Titan 2. So as always, I'm going to be using this device over the next week or so and you can expect the review online pretty soon.